Hello everyone and welcome back. We're actually here now. This is nine days later. I decided to just leave these in. I didn't even check them at seven days. I just left them in. Today is in like one hour. It will be exactly nine days. So let's take a look at these. By going the couple extra days, I don't think I'm going to have to put them in for any more time for this first grind. So we'll take a look to make sure. And then I'm going to take these outside because you never want to dump that slurry uh, that's in here down your sink drain because it'll get down there in that trap and it'll harden like concrete. So um, if everything's okay, I'll take it outside, I'll dump it out, I'll give them just a quick rinse, and then we'll bring them back inside and wash them up real good in the sink, get them back in here, and get them into the second step. This is the stuff you definitely do not want to let that get out of your drain. Just trying to see if we have rounded edges. I see nothing sharp. Remember before we had a lot of real sharp edges. This is the one that was really sharp and it's rounded off good enough. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go outside, I'm going to dump everything into the colander, and then I've got about a gallon and a half of water here, I'm going to dump over it just to do that first initial rinse, rinse out the inside here to get rid of most of that slurry, and then I'll bring it all back inside, we'll take a better look, and then we'll get everything washed up real nice. I wanted you guys to see this when I ran that water over it. Look at that color. Hope you guys can see that. Look at this one. It has like blues and oh wow. Some of these have broken apart, which we knew they would. Look at that. Wow. Oh, look at this one. That's still rough though. That's not going to be the same at the end, but it looks cool right now. I'm trying to bring in a little bit more light here. Hopefully it's not too much and it's just whiting it out, but this is a very important step. And I've said it every time I do these videos, but it's the most boringest part, but at the same time, you've got to get all of the other slurry and grit out of here. Or else if you're one of the ones that does your rocks and at the end of your five, four or five weeks, your rocks are not shiny, they're dull. If you, if you, one of the main reasons is because you didn't clean everything good enough. Especially in the later steps, if you get one one piece of grit that's that's um, not a fine grit, it's just going to scratch. Just think about like when you get a piece of sand in your eye, you know, one little piece can really do a lot of damage. Also when you're doing this, keep running some water over your rocks. You don't want them to get dry at this point at all. Also when you're doing this you can just feel all of the outsides are going to kind of feel the same. They've got a hard, I don't know, after you do a few batches you'll know what I mean. So if you get anything that feels like it has a rough outside you may have to pull it. I mean it's okay if one side is rough because it still has to go down yet like this one because it's in caved in somewhat. 
Look at this one. I don't know if you can see it, but it has a, a crevice in there that has to be cleaned out really good. But there again, if you have a rock that's too soft, think about it at the end of the, the, uh, the whole process here, you're gonna have these hard, shiny rocks and they're gonna be hitting against one that, that's rough, like a piece of sandpaper, and it's just gonna scratch, 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 and it'll do that to the whole entire batch. So I don't know if you remember this one from the start. It has that deep crevice right there. And I think this is gonna be a pretty rock when it's done. But I'm gonna to have to make sure that I can clean in there. I'm gonna leave this one in for one more grind and see how far down that goes. But I may wanna just pull this one out because when you get into the third and fourth step, I seem to get it pretty good. You could tell that it had, it was kind of gray in there and now it's not. But that's a good way to ruin your batch if something is stuck in there. So this one right here, which I think looks so cool, I showed it in the beginning. It has the quartz here on the inside, but that quartz is very rough. I'm going to have to pull it. The rest of the rock, I mean, the whole thing is pretty, but I mean... That's going to scratch, and there's no way that's all going to come out. So, now is the time. Pull it and be done. So we got them all washed up now into this water. I only had about an inch of water in there and it's still almost about as much water as I would want in here. Except for we are going to put a few pellets in this one. Uh, one thing, I thought that I had two of them of this real clear quartz in the beginning. Maybe I didn't. This has gotten a lot smaller. I thought there was a bigger piece but maybe I washed it and forgot about it but I don't know. I would like to get a whole bunch of that. That is just like you can see right through it. So like I said, I'm actually gonna add some filler. Not a whole lot. If I would have had another half inch of rock volume in here, I would not have added any filler. I, I prefer not to for the first and second. But I, since I'm going to, I'm gonna use some of these bigger ceramic pellets because I don't like them. I prefer the smaller ones. And when we get into the uh, next third and fourth, and you know, which is the final step, we're going to use the small ones. I don't know why I like those better, I just do. I also don't, and I've said this in other videos, I don't care for the plastic ones. I've used them before, they work. Um, I do not think they work as good as the ceramic ones do. And now this is uh, step two, so we're going to do the 150-220 sil uh, silicon carbide. And last time we did 11 tablespoons, we're going to do 11 tablespoons again. I know our volume is down a little bit, so you could probably get by with, okay, we're only going to do 9 or 10. And I, every time I do these videos, somebody comes in and says, you don't need to use that much, you can use less, do whatever you want to do, this works for me. And uh, I mean, I bought these 5 pound things of grit years ago, and... I haven't run out, so I'm going to put 11 tablespoons in here. So I was really careful not to get anything along my rim right here. If you accidentally, some of your grit hits on there, you're going to have to clean this super good. I mean, it never hurts even now just to go over it with and just go through like this just to make sure because if you have anything in there that breaks that seal, you're going to have a huge mess and you're going to lose time. As far as our water volume goes, I'm not going to add any more in here. You want it so it just covers the rocks, maybe a little bit sticks out. This is just about perfect. So now 
we're going to put our lid back in here, make sure it's down in there good. Put our cover over it. Put our washer. Tighten this down real good. Okay everyone, well thanks a lot for watching. We're going to start this up right now. I'm going to let this run for another five to seven days. I'm probably going to go around that seven day. Uh, and then we'll open it up. We'll wash everything up again. Uh, the rocks will have went down a little bit more, so we're going to have to add a little bit more of the ceramic media, but we're going to do the small ones. And we'll run it into step three. I will see you guys on the next video.